Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, another gun video today. Uh, and first impressions on a particular firearm. So today, I want to go ahead and talk about a SIG P320 full size. P320 full size. Um, disclaimer, I haven't shot this weapon. This is actually my friend's from work. Uh, he let me borrow it for this video. So pretty excited to get into it. Um, I've seen him shoot it quite a bit. Um, but me in particular, I've never shot this firearm. So <clears throat> again, it's via first impressions. So don't get super spun up about how I'm reviewing a gun and it's an impression. So uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, let's get into the specs. So this is obviously a P320 full size, striker fired. This is a nine millimeter variant. Uh, with that being said, it has a 6.6 .6 inch sight radius. So a lot of people claim that sight radius uh, is gonna allude to a more accurate gun. Uh, it may take longer to line up the sights, but uh, longer sight radius, potentially more accuracy. Um, nine millimeter striker fired. It comes with three 17 round mags, one, so flush fitting. Two, and then where'd my third one go? Here it is. Third, third uh, flush fitting magazine. Looks pretty nice in there. They're all SIG. Um, good on them for coming with three magazines. Uh, I feel again. I feel like every pistol you get should come with three magazines. And if they don't, then I feel like that pistol company's just kind of being cheap, and it's just kind of a kick in the the nuts, and you got to go buy another mag. So, uh, four point seven inch barrel. 4.7 inch barrel, so roughly the same size as any full size uh, um, pistol. <clears throat> it's 29.5 ounces, 29.5 ounces. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much really all I would care about if I was gonna research this weapon and, and uh, go ahead and pick it up. So <clears throat> with that being said, let's just talk about it from the slide, you know, all the way to the, the bottom of the frame. So it comes with a, with Tritium sights, tritium sights, uh, white in the front, white in the rear, tritium. They are not suppressor height. They are just uh, normal sights because obviously it's not milled for an optic. So you potentially have to change those out if you got this milled for an optic. Uh, front serrations, front serrations. I know people will get really butthurt about front serrations, but uh, I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Um, so with that being said, very, very good frustration. I can manipulate the front of the weapon from here. Um, I can do my press checks, make sure I'm good to go. I know people are gonna talk shit about that, press check, prep, whatever. But if I'm gonna go into a room um, or clear buildings or houses, I'm definitely gonna press check. I'm gonna load, press check, make sure the slide's back in battery and holster, whatever I need to do. Uh, rear serrations, now I don't necessarily use these, but pretty much every pistol on the market is going to come with them. So, I mean, they feel fine. Manipulate there or come over top, depending on whatever you like to do. I never really manipulate from there, but you have the option to. So, uh, now moving down into the frame, we're going to have a ambidextrous um, slide lock slide release. <clears throat> I think it works really, really well not extended if you can see not extended um, I don't prefer I prefer normal uh, factory um, slide lock slide, slide release because when I get on the weapon sometimes my left hand will contact that um, extended version and lock open prematurely or send the, the slide home on an empty mag so Good on them for doing that. I don't think I'd have any issues with this gun uh, with any of that nonsense. So, slide lock, slide release, ambidextrous. Um, <clears throat> takedown lever. So, how this differs from generally a lot of other pistols on the market, uh, you have the CZ that comes with a takedown, um, I don't know really what you call these, like takedown pins. Takedown pins. Um, these are a little bit harder to manipulate. I prefer the um, 
the uh, takedown lever. It's same with the Glock, same style. You're just gonna let it go forward, pull the trigger, and slide it off. Whereas with the takedown lever, it's much easier in my opinion. Um, so lock it to the rear, pull it all the way down. You don't have to pull the trigger. Just go ahead and slide it right off. Uh, I prefer the takedown lever, it's like really Beretta uh, like, and I I, prefer, I really like the Beretta. I don't have one, but I, I plan on getting one uh, relatively soon. So take that lever, cool. You can actually change these out. I don't know who makes them, but they come with gas pedal uh, levers. So you can actually rest your thumb on there and keep the weapon from riding up, which I think is a really cool design. I like it. Um, in the front, you got a 1913 Picatinny rail. Again, that differs from like CZ proprietary um, rail and then Glock proprietary rail. Um, I think the 1913 is the, is the way, the way to go, um, just due to the fact that multiple lights can fit on here. Um, really with the Glock rail, um, where'd it go? Here's my Bravo. It'll fit on pretty much any weapon very, very securely. The one with the screw, Surefire X300 Bravo. Um, I do have a bra uh, Surefire X300 Alpha, and that the only weapon that it fits securely on is the Glocks. It doesn't really fit securely on my CZ or really anything else, but I, I, I would prefer the 1913 Picatinny Rail just because, you know, they're putting a little bit extra effort into, you know, putting more rail sections on there if you need to use them or not use them. So good on them for that as well. Uh, getting down into the trigger, the trigger's a curved uh, trigger. Um, feels really good. Um, I like it. For some reason, SIGs, I didn't really know this until I kind of, you know, messed around with this one. When you pull the trigger on a dry firing, it's really not a positive tactile, like, striker, you know, releasing the striker, like with the CZ, very, very loud. Um, Glock, very loud. And then the, the SIGs are just kinda, they just have a weird noise. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, um, but I definitely was not expecting that. So, definitely not expecting that. A little bit weird, but no big deal. Trigger feels really good. If I had this, I would potentially change it out just because I'm not a big fan of curve shaped. I would probably just go ahead and get the SIG flat faced. I think the the pull and the brake and the travel and all that kind of stuff is, is, is good. Um, I wouldn't change it out. Um, but I would definitely get a trigger that from SIG that's the flat faced. So uh, good on them for the trigger. My friends never wanted to change it out. He likes it. Uh, he's gonna keep this gun exactly the way it is. So. With that being said, getting down to the grip texture. Now the one con that I would have about this weapon, just putting it in my hand is the grip texture. I think the grip texture is very lackluster. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's some grip here, but really in my opinion, you want the grip, the grip texture to come up higher. There's not any grip texture for a good inch above where they put it. Now you can get around those by, get around that by sending it off getting it textured, whatever floats your boat, or you can just go ahead and get like a Wilson Combat lower, or they have so many different other lowers for this um, with better texturing on it. So you could easily swap it out. Um, not a super big deal. Not too many companies come with a great texturing, uh, even the Glocks. Uh, definitely is not aesthetically pleasing, but I would say the Glock is better than the SIG, um, but it is what it is. So the MMP by far is the best script texturing I've ever, I'm never gonna change this, I think it feels great. So, um, with that being said, the one thing that I really, really think is very forward thinking with the uh, SIG is that you can actually take out this whole chassis right here. And this portion right here is actually the firearm this portion, this chassis actually comes out of the frame. So you can buy these frames off of the shelf. 
you can send them to an F or you can send them to get stippled. They send them right back to your house. No big deal. Change out. There's a lot of modularity going on there. Now with Glock and every other pistol that I own or have even seen, cause I don't think anyone else does it. Um, <clears throat> this whole portion right here is the firearm. So if you send it out to get stippled, you have to send it to an FFL, then they have to send it back to you to an FFL and you'd have to go pick it up and all that kind of nonsense. So there's no chassis here. This stuff comes out, but the serialized portion is actually the plastic polymer portion. Um, and then, you know, this portion right here, you could buy this whole upper slide, all the internals and everything get shipped to your house. But as far as this, the actual plastic portion, the polymer portion, you couldn't get this shipped to your house. Um, you get all the internals, but not the actual serialized portion, unless it's a polymer 80. So I think very forward thinking, very cool um, that you can pull this chassis out and just change out grips like nobody's business. I think that's really cool. Um, so if you didn't know, SIG is the new military contract. This is actually the army size. Uh, so this would be more of the uh, M17 variant, the M17 variant, full size SIG P320. So only time will tell uh, whether this weapon's gonna hold up. I feel like a lot of people talked a lot of trash about the M9 Beretta, but I think it held up very, very well in the military, I enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. I'm gonna get a Langdon Tactical uh, nine millimeter Beretta. I love them. Um, so I, I'm curious to see in the next 10 to 12 years if people start talking about this SIG, just like how they talk about the Beretta. Um, and the military is not a whole lot of maintenance happening and they get rode hard, extremely hard and put away wet. So we'll see how this thing holds up. Uh, in the military the next 10 years and see how maybe potentially they're talking about it just like the Beretta. Um, and that's pretty much it with the first impressions. A few things that I like to do with these just to maybe see if, if you want to buy one of these and maybe what kind of light you want to put on it or what kind of accessories you want to put on it. Um, I just like to kind of throw my accessories on it and just show you. So right here I have an X300 Bravo and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, I love X300s, that's my preferred light. So if I had this gun, I would buy a X300 for it. Um, so let me just go ahead and pop that baby off. Um, <clears throat> another light I have is an Olight PL Valkyrie, yeah, PL Pro Valkyrie. I'm a little bit more flush fitting. I'm not a super big fan of these, these lights just because they're made overseas. Um, not that there's anything wrong with this one. I've never really had any issues with it, but I would prefer the X300 over the uh, Olight. Um, and that's pretty much it for a full size. I mean, I have a, a small Olight. Um, I don't even know if it fits on here. Uh, yeah, it does. So you can, this one, you can move out, move in, whatever you need to do to make it fit you a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so that's what these this gun looks like with a little bit of lighting on it. Um, you could obviously send this out and get a, get it milled for an optic, um, or you can buy the one that comes with a um, Sig Romeo optic cut, which is the same as a Delta Point, which if I had this gun, I would mill it out for a, a Delta Point and I would rock it just like this if you could see it. Um, but yeah, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully I'll get out to the range and my friend will be out there because we go, we go together all the time and I'll get some footage of him shooting this, this pistol. Obviously he's way more proficient at it than I am. Um, so yeah, again, like, comment, subscribe. I really enjoy doing stuff like this and all the support is welcomed. Thank you very much.